going to some Southampton's College and today we're going to give you some tips. In this video, I'd like to explain how to wire a th simple thermostat. I've uh, already prepared this uh, using a three-core um, PVC, PVC insulated PVC sheathed cable. Uh, this is appropriate for this type of system. Shouldn't really be wired in flex as it is part of the fixed wiring of, uh, uh, for a domestic property. I've also oversleeved each uh, core to denote their, um, their polarity because we have a, uh, a switch line, uh, a, a, a neutral and we have a permanent live. We also have an earth that would go normally to a back plate for the back of this but for the purposes of this video I'm just using a, a standard metal box. I've also crimped on spade uh, connectors, uh, spade crimps. Uh, this is a more professional job because actually wrapping them around the screw uh, won't help uh, the connectivity. Quite simply, the first thing to do is always go for manufacturer's instructions. On this one, it says uh, that we've got one and three and four. So always read the paperwork that comes with it. This one has actually got it attached uh, to the, 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 uh, the thermostat. So going back to the wiring, um, I've, I've already prepared this. I've got the, the correct colours on there. Um, and it will come out of the wall or up through a, a trunking, uh, depending on how it's been wired in, in, the, in the house. And this one's got a small entry here. So we take our cables through, you can see this. Um, I will take them through and just, because they're on spades, it makes it very easy to connect. So my live will go to number one, and you can see that that's the one going to the, the start of the contact. So my live will be the brown wire, and that's my permanent live coming from the board, from the um, boiler. So tight enough, but not over tight. Now my switched live, I've chosen the grey cable, but I have oversleeved it with brown sleeving because it is a live conductor. This will go back and switch my heat pump when I'm calling for um, heating. Neutral goes to number four, because it says it clearly on, on my, my diagram. Now all you've got to do is make sure that the cables are quite tidy inside there because there's not a lot, in this one there's not much room and obviously that goes over to as a piece, a bit of basic protection uh, in case anyone opens this uh, at, any, at any point. So the three core comes from the boiler, the permanent life will go to uh, num in this instance number one because that's the start of the, of the circuit and that's where it's switching from here. Num the, to, the number three goes to the load and that's the, I've used the grey cable and the neutral for the, so that it can heat the resistor up uh, is gone to number four. Uh, once that's done we co cover that up, we we'll screw it down to our back plate like that and the dial has to go on first because it's actually trapped by this, but all thermostats are different. Modern, um, some modern uh, digital ones only have a battery inside them, so they don't need a neutral. So always look at the uh, manufacturer's instructions before you attempt any, any of this sort of wiring. And if in doubt, consult a, a qualified electrician. And that's the basics of wiring a thermostat.